The Denver City Council is finally taking what may be its last step in the decision over the former Park Hill golf course tonight. Developers and city leaders have been eyeing it for housing and development, but many neighbors are against the proposal, saying they don't want to lose the open space and its history. If seven council members vote in favor tonight, it will then be up to voters to make the final call in now, April. The fact that it was up to just a simple majority in City Council has a group of Park Hill neighbors crying foul. With that, here's Denver 7's Rob Harris. It's just a wonderful place to live. Harry Doby and his wife chose the Park Hill neighborhood on purpose. The Park Hill is one of the strongest communities, I think, in the city. When word came out that the open space next to his home, once the Park Hill golf course, was being eyed by developers and the city for construction, Doby and his neighbors felt they needed to act. We don't need to sacrifice green space in order to meet our housing needs. We're in a climate crisis. Doby and his neighbors started what's called a protest petition for the rezoning. It would require the city council to get a supermajority vote of 10 or more members rather than a simple majority of seven. The protest petition process is complicated. It's not exactly about getting a certain number of signatures. It's about getting enough property owners to sign on so the total property they own adds up to at least 20% of the land in question. So in this case, it comes out to about 12 acres of owned property. Doby says he and his neighbors followed all of the rules and exceeded the amount that they needed. They also submitted what are called statements of authority for the businesses or LLCs on the petition. But after they submitted their completed petition to the city, it was sent back with many signatures rejected. For many, the reason given by the city acknowledges that the statement of authority was submitted, but says that an additional governing document was not. I pulled up the protest petition guide on the city's website. In the frequently asked questions, it does say the properties that are occupied by businesses do need to submit proof of authorization, but it says it may include a statement of authority or other applicable documents. Now, I reached out to the city about this and was pointed to this email sent to the petitioners saying that the documents they had provided did not meet the requirements set by state law. It's like, where did that come from? In all our email and, and, and reading their instructions, nowhere did they, was that mentioned. They invented this rule simply to stop our process. Doby was told there was no process to appeal the rejected petition. So now he and his neighbors plan to take their case directly to the people of Denver ahead of their vote in April. We're gonna win, it's just a matter of time. The Park Hill neighborhood and Denver in general know that this is a rotten deal. They're being sold a bill of goods and they're not going to stand for it. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris.